I did a video on using GMath in Forms, and since that time, the way that GMath works with Forms has changed because the way that Forms work has changed a little bit. So let me show you what it used to do, and now what it does that's different. So what happened before is it used to be that you couldn't put a an image into a question. So when you when you wanted to put math information into here, what you would need to do is you would put the image. Um, in one location so you would basically make it in GMath and put the uh, the e equation or the graph into uh, GMath or into the form and then what the form would do is they would add a question below that that would um, basically comment on the on the thing that was above it and that would be where your students would answer the question. So it was a little bit weird because you would have these images and then below it there would be a location for the answer that went with that image. For multiple choice the same basic thing was true. You would have uh, a question and from that question the answer choices would be an image and then the responses would simply be an A, B, C, D that went along with that image. Now, the way that that works in Forms now has changed. So the way that, uh, that you do Google Forms to do this has changed as well. So let me show you what that looks like. So I'm going to open up GMath here. And I'm going to create a math expression. Okay, so what I'm going to do for my math exp expression is I'm actually going to do this same factor completely thing right here. So in my GMath, when it comes up, I'm going to click on the advanced button. And from there, I'm going to go to the latex editor down here, and I'm going to make this equation. So I might fast forward through this a little bit as I'm writing the equation down just to make it quicker. Okay, so this is my equation. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a multiple choice question. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to go to add question. And it's going to make a multiple choice question. Let me move this. Well, it's fine right here, I guess. So I'm going to put this multiple choice question in. And for my question, I'm going to say factor completely. And you'll notice that right here, there's a little image button. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this right here, not where the latex editor is, but where the image of my question is. And I'm going to right click on that. And I'm going to take and I'm going to copy this, but not copy the image. I'm going to copy the image address. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to go to here where it has the picture or, or the image icon. And I'm going to click on that. And when this opens up, I'm going to insert the image by URL. And then I'm going to paste in that uh, image URL. And it shows up right here. I'll select that. And then it'll put the image actually into my question, which is something that you couldn't do before. And then let me make my, um, my ABCD options real quick. And then what I'm going to do is you'll notice that there's a little image icon that shows up for each of these. So what I'll do is I'll change my latex editor. Uh, I'll just go in here and I'll change it so that it does my new, um, my new latex for all of my answer choices. Once that's all set, I will go and I will uh, right click on it. I will copy the image address. I will go to answer choice A and I will click on the image icon. And then again, I will insert by URL. And it will put the image in here for A. Now I'm going to do this for all of my other answer choices, so I'll fast forward in the video until all my answer choices are in. Now that I'm finished with all the answer choices, uh, my question is essentially done. Now I will say that if I go back up to the top and just talk about this one, which was a short answer, uh, this is the one that I did in the old uh, GMath. And so basically what it does is it created an image and then it needed to have a question box that was below it that I could put the, the answer or have a spot for the answer. If you use the latex editor or you create a graph and you want to put it in this way where there's an image and then the short answer box is below it. All you need to do is hit the insert math button 
which is similar to what you did before, and it will put it in there as an image. However, if in any instance you want to put the image into the question itself, so let's say that instead of putting it right here, I would want to say answer, or I would just want to say determine the equation for a line, and then put the image into this location where they would do the short answer. I can't hit this button. I have to go up here to where either the equation is or where the graph is. I have to do that process of right clicking and copying the image address. And then when I would actually click on the question, I would hit this image button and then paste it directly in. Okay, so that's the that's now the only way that you can do multiple choice. You can't do multiple choice the old way, but for your short answer, you have two options for how to do it. It just depends upon what's easier for you and what you think looks the best. I also want to show you what this looks like once you're done. So I'm going to click on the preview button and this form has both the original and the new version. So if you look at the original, I had factor completely and I had this, then I had an image of the multiple choice answers, and then I had a location where they would actually pick the correct answer based on this image. Now, it looks like this. It says factor completely, it's got the four options, and they can just click on one, and it will automatically choose that answer choice. So it's a much nicer view than it used to be. So it's maybe a little bit more tedious in the setup, but the look of it is so much better than it was before uh, that it's actually a really nice feature. So in any case, that's the uh, tutorial basically on the changes in GMAT and how it works for multiple choice questions now. I hope that this helps. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and I will answer them as I can.